Hi, I'm John Paul of the blog Pementor.com. This video is the first of a series of videos where we will discuss the key features of the SEPA instant credit transfer. In this video, we consider the execution time. In other words, how long it takes to transfer funds with a SEPA instant credit transfer. Before looking at the execution time, we will see why we can say that the SEPA instant credit transfer is really a revolution in European payments. Then we will look at the SCT INS initial duration and answer a few questions about it. To make the things a bit more concrete, we will take a closer look at what happens during the execution time if all goes well. And we will see that it is quite impressive. At the end, I want to nuance your vision of SCT INS with the question, is SCT instant really a revolution? So let's begin. The SEPA instant credit transfer is a revolution in Europe. The scheme allows fund transfer to be carried out in seconds between bank accounts located anywhere in the SEPA area. The SEPA area consists nowadays of 36 countries and some are located at very long distances from each other. If you want to transfer euros from Portugal to Finland, for example, the beneficiary can receive the funds in a matter of seconds. This was not possible before and makes the SCT INS truly unique. Another thing that we should be aware of about SCT INS is this. The SEPA instant credit transfer is faster than UK faster payments. I want to highlight this because many people say faster payments were already there. And this is true. But in SCT INST, execution time is very strict and amounts to few seconds. When you make an instant credit transfer in SEPA, you are certain that the beneficiary will be credited in seconds. However, that's not the case for the UK faster payments, where the execution time is not so strict. In UK faster payments, duration may last up to two hours and even one day. Sometimes it may last few seconds, but there is no guarantee. That is why we can say that SEPA instant credit transfer is faster than UK faster payments. Now let's focus on the SCT INS execution time, the initial duration. According to the SCT INS rule book, the SCT instant initial maximum execution time is 10 seconds. This raises three questions. When does that duration begin? When does it end? And why is it called initial maximum duration? We will answer to each of these questions. The first one, when does that duration begin? When the payer's payment service provider or the debtor bank is certain that all mandatory attributes for processing the transactions are valid, it marks this starting point with a timestamp. So the timestamp marks the begin of the execution time. But before putting the timestamp, the bank must perform all the necessary checks to ensure that the payment can be processed from its perspective. We can think of checks regarding the customer's agreement. Is the customer allowed to send SEPA instant credit transfer? The amount. Is the amount in euro and within the authorized limits? Is the beneficiary located in the SEPA area? Does the customer have enough balance on his account? Is the payment compliant with all the regulatory rules? Is it a fraudulent payment? There are many checks to be performed. If the checks are not successful, the banks may immediately reject the payment and stop the processing and the duration won't even begin. Now, in case everything goes well with the checks, the payment can be processed. When then does the duration end? The answer is when the beneficiary's bank reports to the debtor bank either that the money has been made available to the beneficiary or that the transaction has been Reject. So this tells us that things may go wrong at the beneficiary bank as well. The beneficiary account may be closed, for example. In any case, the beneficiary bank must inform the debtor bank about the outcome of its processing. Now the last question, why is this called initial maximum duration? There are two main reasons for this. The first, the flexibility of the SCT in scheme. The scheme is flexible and allows banking communities to set a shorter execution time. In the Netherlands, for example, the execution time is five seconds for inland SEPA instant credit transfers. The second reason is exception handling. If you have been following my videos, you know that exception handling make our life in payments pretty difficult. SCT INS is further from being an exception. If the maximum execution time of 10 seconds cannot be met 
due to exceptional processing circumstances, the SCT INS rulebook foresees a hard timeout deadline of 20 seconds. In certain cases, the SCT INS transfer may require more than 20 seconds. It is twice 10 seconds, the initial maximum duration, but it's still okay for many use cases. Now, you may wonder what actually happens during the execution time. We have considered the happy scenario here to make the things easy. The picture you see here is the conceptual workflow of an SCT INS that we find in the SCT Instant Rulebook. Seven steps are highlighted. Out of the seven steps, step two to six are carried out during the execution time. That should be maximum 10 seconds. A lot of things happen and it is quite impressive when we consider that the payment transaction must flow to all the players involved, the banks and the clearing systems. Each player must perform its own task and processing. So we see that technology undoubtedly plays a crucial role. I think you are now very enthusiastic about the SEPA instant credit transfer, but I would like to nuance things a little. The fintech company Ripple claims to process and settle cross-border payments in four seconds. Wow, four seconds. That's just amazing. It's stunning. So the execution time for payments between Europe and the USA, for example, is only four seconds. That is less than half the initial duration time of the SCT INS. That is 10 seconds. Awesome, right? And no surprise that the company Ripple is worth billions. So is SCT Instant really a revolution? Of course it is. It's a great achievement, but we should be aware that technology is evolving fast and that something already exists that allows to move funds even faster. It is called Ripple. I think everyone working in payments should follow closely what Ripple is doing. It's truly an exciting time to work in payment now. In the next video, We'll talk about another key feature of the SCT Instant, the maximum amount of 15,000 euros. That's the end of this presentation. If you found it useful, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to permantor.com and subscribe to the newsletter to receive regular updates about articles and videos. Take care and see you soon on Permantor TV.